I've always liked art. But back then, when I was still a kid, art as a career is considered something that is not sustainable in the future. So I've always been left wondering what kind of path I should take, especially with the skill set that I have. It doesn't really help when people around me just keeps on talking and talking about how me making art is pretty much useless and then there's no point in me making art in the first place because I'm not going to make any money out of it. It really wears you down after a while. So I did what any sane, normal, aimless teen who's just graduated school would do at that point in life, which is I followed what my parents want me to do. In this case, they want me to become a teacher. A teacher. I mean, I thought to myself, just think about it. My older brother's a teacher. My mom's a teacher. School life has been the livelihood, the lifeblood of my family for God knows how long. So, again, I just thought to myself, how hard could it be? Am I right? And so I went on to university in order to study for my major, which is English and Education. And I end up spending two years, two years and a half for my diploma, and four years for my degree. Some of you are going to be questioning me like, do you think that you've just wasted your time six years and a half learning something that you don't like? Well, to be honest, my time studying for my major is actually one of the best times of my life. And I'm going to tell you why. And how it affects my motivation now to become a graphic artist. Slash comic artist, so to speak. So at this point, I was basically have nothing to lose. And since I have no vision of wanting to reach anything greater than what I am now, I decided at the very least, I should be good at what I'm studying right here in this moment. Being a teacher, specializing in education, learning about literature, learning about English, brushing up on my speaking skills, all of those things. But the saddest things about this is, the more I'm brushing my skills to become a teacher by building competence, it actually achieves the opposite of that. My depression gets worse, I had more anxiety than ever, and my confidence just drops at the lowest. Absolute lowest. And I feel dreadful. You see, the thing about being far away from your hometown is that you get to meet a lot of people that is so different from the types of people that you are already used to be with. In my university, if you have just a little bit of talent for something that is considered strange by others, then people will be interested in you. In my case, I got a knack for drawing, I got a knack for multimedia, I got a knack for making animations. And sure, I'm not that good at it, but for someone who never sees it, they consider that something extraordinary. And that works really good for me. Especially a person like me, who's basically have zero confidence in what I do. And you know what, this group of people, who I'm so proud of, of being able to call my friends. They are so supportive of what I do. Sure, sometimes we have different opinions. Sometimes we fight. Sometimes we do a little shit that makes us feel so annoyed with one another. But these group of people are my friends. And I appreciate them for what they've done for me. 
And so the day of my graduation finally arrived, and with my school in hand, I simply stood there, just contemplating about what I want to do next. Logically speaking, I should be a teacher, or at least strive to become one, but I just don't have it in me anymore. I'm just not sure that it's the kind of career that would make me happy and mentally sound and safe as a a normal person. And so I've decided to take the best course of action that I could possibly take at that time. And that was I wanted to do art full time. Not for anyone else, but only for myself. Because that's what I really want. I would be lying if I said that my decisions is being supported by my family or not. Because, to be honest, what I'm doing is actually really illogical. But I also remember at that point, the only thing that I have in mind is that I don't want to feel regretful of not doing what I want to do with my life. And that brings us to where I am now. I think it's already been one year since I've decided to do art full-time it's not like I get clients every single day or every single month and the payments isn't all that good but you know what I'm actually quite happy with what I'm doing and I'm sure eventually if I keep on working hard on improving my craft things will get better So we have finally reached the end of this video. I know it's kinda weird starting this channel with a very somber tone, but in the process of making this video, there were a lot of twists and turns that I had to go through in order to just finish it. Not to mention that I was also contemplating about sharing my voice with the art community due to my inexperience as an artist. And I myself am still learning in order to improve whatever it is that I'm doing right now. And it wasn't until I came across this particular Instagram post by a fellow artist named uh, Natalia which prompted me to finish this video altogether. So she also has her own YouTube channel, and if you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description below. So the next video is going to be much more lighter in tone compared to this one and I'm excited to share it with you guys once it's finished. So once again, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.